Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a quick video and show you how I germinate some of more of my palms. So today I'm actually germinating uh, what is known as Jubea chilensis or the Chilean wine palm. Um, so I've got a box here of about 50 seeds which came to me from some of my friends in California, um, San Diego area. And this is our Jubea chilensis. So you can see kind of approximately the size of them, kind of nice big uh, seed. It has a very hard outer shell. And you don't need to crack these. A lot of people ask that. Um, do I need to um, uh, crack the outer shell? I find that you do not want to do that. Uh, it does not aid in the uh, germination process in my experience. Now this is a uh, incredibly, well, probably considered by some to be one of the most impressive palms um, out there. Uh, it is a very cold hardy palm um, and it is a, an incredibly slow growing palm. Um, but uh, so I wanted to show you the first step uh, as with most hard shell uh, kind of seeds like this is you want to give them a good soak. So what I like to do is I'll take these seeds and I've already got them here. We'll drop them in. Now you'll notice that these are floating. Um, as I said, they're in the cocoa family um, of these these seeds of this palm. Um, so these are going to float. Now that does not, in some cases, that will indicate that those are not viable seeds, but that is not the case with the Jubea chilensis palms. As I said, they uh, have a hollow center, and what you're trying to do is give them some time for that water to soak in through some of these eyes, you'll see on them, uh, just to give water some chance to permeate the outer um, shell um, and really kind of kickstart that germination process. Um, you could do this without it, but I find that this is really kind of a, really an important step um, and significantly improves the, the likelihood that you're going to be able to get these to germinate. So anyways, drop them into your water. Um, in fact, we'll just go ahead and dump all these right in. So there you go. Like I said, there's about 50 of them. You can see, oops, the zoom in there. Now, what I'll do is I will let these soak for about three days. Uh, I'll change out the water um, every 24 hours during that process. Uh, during that process, you'll start seeing some of these starting to sink to the bottom, which is great. It means the water started permeating the, uh, the shell um, and getting into the interior of it, and that's really what you want. That's going to give you such successful germination. Um, so you got to be patient with them. The other thing that uh, about these is they do require and really like the heat. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pot these up into a mixture of primarily perlite, um, but the key to this is uh, hot. So 90 degrees Fahrenheit and above um, is ideal situation for these. Um, with that and the heat, that's really nothing else you need to do to get them to germinate. Now, if I will keep them, so I'm, we're here in central Texas. It is late July and our average temperatures are about 100, 100 degrees Fahrenheit and plus uh, on most days. So what I'll do is probably keep them here in my garage uh, where it does get nice and toasty um, for a few days and then we'll pot them up. Um, they do not need light to germinate, so preferably keep them nice and dark. Uh, the, the, the perlite needs to be um, uh, just moist. You don't want them sitting in water. The seeds will rot if they sit in too much water. So keeping them nice, I, what I'll do is I'll get a, a spray bottle and I will go in there and mist them uh, You know, once they're in the perlite. Um, and you don't bury them in the perlite as well. So you want to uh, set them in uh, to the perlite and, but I find that just, you know, having them sit a little bit above uh, and not fully buried has been the most success. So anyways, there you have it. That's the Chilean wine palm uh, and I'll keep some updated on as these progress and we start to see some germination. Um, anyways, we'll see y'all later and happy palm growing.